Hey guys, welcome to a very special edition of the Trophy Show. And if you hadn't figured out, we are talking about Toy Soldiers War Chest. Now this franchise was, pre well, was previously an Xbox exclusive series. It's finally making its way over to the PlayStation 4 with the release of the new game War Chest. Now it's developed by Signal Studios and uh, published by Ubisoft. And Ubisoft invited myself and nine other YouTubers out to their San Francisco office and gave us a, an opportunity to play this game for a few hours. And I had a lot of fun. And I'm going to tell you guys, you should really consider looking into the, getting this game. It's ridiculously fun. It, it's just, it's got a whole uh, level, a layer of cuteness added to it. Uh, it's basically a tower defense game where you have to prevent the opposing army from entering your uh, toy chest. And uh, you do that by building uh, your defenses, upgrading your defenses, and at any time you can control any one of those defenses. And then once you get your meter that uh, you can see on the left side of the screen uh, up, at least to the first level, there's three total, you can activate your hero. Now each army has a hero, and the standard version of this game, which is $14.99, uh, has the Phantom Army, the Dark Lord Army, the Kaiser Army, and the Starbright Army. The Hall of Fame Edition, uh, and you can also buy these uh, Hall of Fame uh, armies uh, individually if you get just the standard version of the game, but the Hall of Fame Edition, which is $30, and also available at retail by the way, uh, includes the He-Man Army, the G.I. Joe Army, uh, led by Commander Duke, and you also have Cobra Commander, uh, his army, and then there's also the Assassin's Creed army led by Ezio himself. Being a Ubisoft uh, published title, not very surprising they included that, and it's a great addition too. Unfortunately, I didn't capture any footage for uh, Cobra Commander or Ezio. They were both locked in the version of the game that I played, but nonetheless, they are available. All right, so I want to kind of take you through the beginning stages of one of the early campaign uh, missions. Now, there's a campaign mode and there's an online multiplayer mode. This is one of the first campaign modes. And right at the very beginning, you have an opportunity to place defenses. Now, I placed a couple uh, defenses here. I don't have a whole lot of money at this point in order to place more. But I'm going to go and kill the enemies as they come. We've got Starbright's army coming at me. So here in the first wave, we're going to have a bunch of uh, pixies come at me. Now, during the each wave you can upgrade your uh, defenses you can build more defenses so you don't have to wait until the end of the round you can then take control of the defenses or you can just let the AI try to take out the enemies for you it's a little bit more hands-on when you do it yourself and I feel like I'm probably a little better than the AI although probably not at this point let's be fair I sucked at this game when I first started this is literally just moments after I uh, started up the game and really had no idea what I was doing at this point now you can see on the left side there's a that blue meter. Once that gets up to the first bar, uh, I can activate He-Man, and He-Man is going to allow me to uh, take control of him and go and uh, kill the opposing army. Now with this game, it's very critical to make sure that you have the proper uh, defenses set prior to a wave coming out. You don't want flying enemies when you don't have any anti-air guns uh, planted. So you gotta make sure you keep an eye on, on what's coming up. Now, this is, I mean, a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but the online multiplayer is exceptionally fun. That is gonna be a, a, a mode that I really see myself playing a whole bunch. Now you can see I got He-Man available here, so I'm gonna hit triangle. But the uh, online kind of reminds me of, of Rocket League. Rocket League recently came out, didn't really have a whole lot of opinion of it until I started playing it and then I found it was really addicting and I have a feeling this is going uh, to be a case with this game as well. So I got another wave of enemies coming. Now you can see the battery, the green bar at the very bottom. Uh, that's how long uh, I can uh, keep He-Man out. Now I can go out and find more batteries to increase that time. Uh, and then he's got a health bar below that and once that health bar depletes then uh, you won't be able to, to use him anymore and you just go back to your uh, your defenses make sure of course you're upgrading and then what along the way I prefer a sword. all right so here's the campaign map as you can see i'm just uh, near the beginning uh there's a survival mode with he man which is uh you just gotta survive as many waves as you can and you get a trophy if you survive 10. now i came up to this boss battle in this big large tank just steamrolled over all of my defenses. I didn't have any of the proper defenses out to destroy this thing, so unfortunately, it cost me a defeat. Now, here is the trophies. Uh, 
there is a platinum trophy and here's a few of them i will list the entire trophy list in the description below but i really want to take some time talking about the multiplayer because this is really where the game's at uh as you can see i got a match set up here me and my uh opponent were both the duke army here so we're playing the, the gi joe army and uh, this is so much fun this is going to just be kind of like little snippets of the uh, online match because it did take 20 I think seven minutes for us to finally do it but here's the uh, loading screen and as you can see you got to build your wave list on the top left corner box there that'll dictate which uh, enemies are coming at you and then the second one says use your hero to support the attack now it should also say and I didn't even discover this until after I was done it should also say use your hero to support your defense because uh, you can use your hero on, on both the attacking side and the defense side. And of course you got to evade the enemy toy box. Essentially you have 100 health. And each time an enemy soldier enters your toy box, your toy box will lose health. So we're going to start off here. This is round one. And I'm going to be honest with you, I sucked. Um, at least for a little while. I kind of put it together and uh, we'll have to see if I make a comeback by the end of this. Now at the very beginning here, I'm defending first, so I'm going to prepare my defenses. you got to be quick because those enemy soldiers are coming. Now be careful of the wave list on the right side. You can see the little circles. That'll indicate which enemies are coming at you in which wave. Now once you've built your defenses again, you can just use the AI or let the AI uh, fire the weapons for you. Or you can hop into it yourself. Now I'm going to try to take these guys out myself. And uh, this uh, the first round because you don't have a lot of money everything costs money including the troops that you're attacking with the defense the upgrading everything costs money the first wave is going to be pretty easy for you to defend as you can see there toy box damage zero so we're we're good to go here so far so now round one i'm going to attack so at this point i'm going to select troops now with 2100 dollars, there's not much i can do so we're going to go ahead and start. Now you will start off in your hero. And uh, I got Duke here is going to, uh, to try to take out some of these defenses. As you can see the other guys are being controlled by the AI. But they're going to get eaten up pretty easily here by the enemy turrets. And I'm just going to fire away here. Now uh, Duke does have a grenade. Grenade is going to be your best weapon. Uh, best means to take out the enemy defenses here and then doing some acrobats here trying to avoid the enemy fire We might grenade too far, but I did take out a, uh, a nice uh, tree back there No trophies for that unfortunately there is speaking of trophies a trophy for winning 100 multiplayer matches uh, That's gonna be a bit of a grind now as you can see at the end of the round one uh, neither of us were able to uh, damage the enemy toy box but here I'm going to actually earn a trophy and this is a trophy for taking out the enemy's hero and you see he's right behind me firing at me so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take him out and get the shutdown trophy how about that now I'm just going to go ahead and try to hold my own here but unfortunately the end of this wave I get overwhelmed by these uh, the tanks and the jeeps I didn't really have anything that could take them out uh, efficiently and quickly. So at this point, I, I literally I got my hands up in the air, going, oh, "What? What am I supposed to do?" So yeah, there you go. Thirty damage to my toy box. So we're gonna try to make a comeback here in wave two, and I'm attacking. I assumed since he was able to uh, get a lot of damage on my toy box, I can do the same to him. And you see here, I got the Duke is going to try to take out this defense here. Again, the grenades are really the best way uh, to do it. And unfortunately, at the end of that wave, I did zero damage. So, back to defense. And at the end of this uh, wave, he sent out some helicopters I wasn't prepared for. And uh, a couple of them are going to get in here. They're going to cost me five damage for each one. And I just had nothing. You, there are flak uh, guns that you can build that will help uh, take him out. But I wasn't paying attention to the wave list, so I did not have the proper defenses. So now I'm down by 40. And I'm going to attack here. I don't have a whole lot of money. And that's the rule. The key of this game is, is money management. 
Uh, it's really critical. If you have more money than your opponent, you're most likely going to win. But so I'm going to have to try to figure out what, what I can do here to turn things around. So again, I got the Duke here. See what we can do. Unfortunately, he gets taken out. Now, I discover a little secret. I didn't even realize you can do this. You can control your own defenses while on offense. So I'm going to go to my big artillery cannon here. And now I'm going to just eliminate the enemy's defenses. And this is going to turn the tide for me. At least a, a little bit. I'm still down by a lot. But if I take out his defenses, it's going to have to force him to repair and rebuild all of his defenses. Thus lowering the amount of money that he has. So hopefully it's going to make it easier. It is certainly going to allow a lot more of my uh, troops. As you can see, they're all getting pretty close to the, the enemy's toy box. Now at this point, I know because we were in the same room that uh, my opponent didn't quite know what I was doing. I, this this was a little sneaky attack. They didn't tell us anything before we started playing this. We were both obviously noobs. But as you can see here, he's got almost nothing left. And this cannon, it, it, it is upgraded. So it is taking down the enemy uh, defenses real quick here. And by the end of this round, I'm going to go all the way down to 64 damage on to, uh, damage left on the enemy toy box. So now we're going back to defense. Now that I've closed the gap, I made one hell of a comeback. I have a lot of money now. He spent a lot of money trying to repair all of his buildings. But uh, I make uh, one critical error here. He launches some airplanes and I didn't see it coming. At this point, I still don't even know they're coming, but you can see it in the wave list on the right. In two seconds, they're gonna come. But now I have, I do have most of my guns here upgraded. I got the scope thing here. I do have increased damage. But here are the, uh, the, the jets that I wasn't properly prepared for. And I can do nothing but sit here and just watch them. Now you can destroy your uh, defenses, which I had to do here and build the cannon, the flat cannon. But I was pretty much too late and I was helpless and can only just watch them. So going to round four, now I'm going to go right back to my uh, strategy from the previous round here. And I just start taking these things out. Now at this point, he hasn't quite caught on to, to what I'm doing. But he will, and you'll see that momentarily. But this is definitely a good way for me to build up income. And he's repairing his building, and I didn't know this at the time, but while he's in the middle of repairing, you can't do any damage. So while he's doing a repair, switch to a different target. And now you can see he's shooting at me. He's on to me now. The gig is up. And unfortunately, uh, I'm still a little behind. But he's only got this one defense left. And with this cannon, with this gun here, I'm taking things out pretty quick. So that's the end of the wave. I am actually up by eight at this point. And we're going in round five. Now this is going to be the make it or break it round um, because what happens is I just get overwhelmed by these dudes who look like they're having a really good time. Like they're in some sort of parade formation here. At this point again, I'm, I'm pulling on my hair going, what's going on? But as you can see here, I'm down to just 14 health on the my toy box. So this is it. I have to, to win here because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to hold off on the next attack. And he's on to me, so hopefully I can get into my uh, my cannon here. The artillery laser. And I find this thing to be exceptionally effective. And I am ultimately going to win in this round. It was a, a hell of a comeback, and it was a hell of a good time. After this match, we all laughed. We had a great time. Uh, it just honestly, the, the multiplayer on here is so much fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. comes out again August 11th on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. 
do recommend you do it, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. So please like that this video, share it, get the word out there, because this is going to be one of those games.